Dave Knows How. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I uh, wanted to show you one of the little projects I've been working on over the summer. It's uh, something I've had going on in the back of my mind now for, you know, for a while. Um, ever since right around the time that I uh, created the top link level indicator. And if you look back a couple videos ago, I did a video about making the top link level indicator. And that was a requested video by a couple of viewers that seen that indicator and they wanted to see how I made it. So, so I made a new one, um, stuck it on the tractor, did a video, showed it. And after doing that, I got a couple questions from people inquiring, what's it for? What does it do? I mean, it looks neat, but what does it do? So if you go back and you look at my video series about the box blade, setting up the box blade, the angle of the dangle, part one, you'll see that top link level indicator mentioned in there and you'll see it and that'll give you a better idea as to what it's for. And basically it's for leveling what you have on the back this way from the very farthest back point to the part that's closest to the back of the tractor say for a box blade getting a level this way so that the box blades in the neutral position I can look back there at a glance and and adjust that thing with the hydraulic lever and get it back where it needs to be. Now, uh, when I did that, I, at the time, I didn't have a hydraulic tilt link. So the side link wasn't hydraulic, it was manually adjustable. Since then, I have I've went on and made another video about adding the hydraulic tilt link. So now we have top and tilt, and we did that on a budget. And so we've got that on there now. It seems to be working great. Um, I wanted to put an indicator on the tilt link. So I've built a tilt level indicator and installed it over here on the fender well on the right hand side of the tractor. Let's roll around here, take a look at it and see how it works. So here it is up here on top of the tractor and it's basically made out of PVC pipe. We've got some magnets on the bottom that hold it on. They're very strong earth magnets. We got some rubber pads on the bottom to keep it from scratching the paint. And wow, that thing really holds on tight. So we've got this little black disc right here. It's made out of like a Delrin. And it slides up and down on this PVC pipe. And where we've got this black mark, that is level. So when that this is lined up with this black mark, the implement on the back of the tractor is level from left to right. So this is just a reference point to bring us back to level. If we go one way, we're tilted one way. If we go the other way, we're tilted the other way. Let's fire up the tractor and see how it works. So we'll go ahead and operate the controls and uh, We'll raise up the, we've got the York rake on the back. We'll go ahead and raise that up a little bit. And we'll go ahead and tilt it. So we'll tilt it uh, t up in the air towards the driver's side by pulling this this way. And as you can see, this is moving. And we're all the way as far as it'll go. And our implement on the back is tilted up. And when we go back the other way, it goes on down. And as you can see, this has moved on down here now. So we're tilted the other direction. That's as far down as it goes. So it goes from here to here, and then from here to here. So if we want to bring this back level, we just gently pull this back until we get lined up and now what's on the back of the tractor is perfectly level we want to tilt the other way if we want to tilt just a little bit we can go like that far and stop you know we can we can stop anywhere we want to and it naturally goes slower in this direction than it does going in the other direction 
I added a restrictor in there and I may I may add another restrictor in there to restrict it so that it goes down a little slower going the other way. It's, you can feather it and get it about that slow. But that's about as slow as you can get it. Which that's you know, that's pretty slow. It comes up real slow going the other way. That way it goes down right much faster. So anyway, it's just something that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, you know, so far it's it's working pretty good. I had a couple bugs. Uh, it's been on here for a little while, so... I had a couple bugs I had to iron out, but I, 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 you know, it was working for a while, and then it stopped working. I had some bugs, and so I got them worked out, and and I think we're we're heading down the right path now. So this is something that I'm hoping that I can possibly sell to, uh, you know, sell the design to to Land Pride or W R Long or. Uh, maybe one of the top and tilt manufacturers that sell top and tilt kits and um you know somebody that can better produce these things faster and get them out to people that that, that want them but um you know because really honestly i don't think that i you know with my little setup my little shop that i have it's good for doing prototype work but it's not very good for doing production work um i just can't you know i couldn't i wouldn't be able to get these out fast enough i don't think um to satisfy everybody that, that wanted one and uh so you know it'd be better if i could find a big company that has a large uh manufacturing facility that could that could turn these things out pretty quick and um you know just let them buy the rights to it and you know by the design and and um you know sell them to people that that would would like to have them i mean the thing it definitely is a, a handy thing to have because just being able to return the implement back to the level position is just so worth its weight in gold really uh, just being able to return this thing back to the level position like that and at a glance, you know, you look down there while you're driving, you can, you can move that thing up. If you're, if you've got it turned all the way in one direction and you're driving forward, say you got a road blade on the back and you're driving forward and you need to taper an embankment, whereas it's cutting a pretty heavy, uh, ditch line and then you want to gradually come out of that ditch line you can watch this thing and feather this control and you can bring that thing up really slow as you're traveling along and it's going to taper cut that hill bank so that it goes from having a, a, a deep cut to a shallow cut and then no cut at all. So um, I think this is going to be a pretty handy little thing to have. So far I've enjoyed having it on here and and uh but like i said it's it, you know I, I need to test it a little bit more and make sure it's going to work and hold up to the test of time i may do a video showing how i made this um so that if some of you guys want to make one for yourself uh then i certainly wouldn't have a problem with that uh you know um and I, if I do that and I make, uh, you know, a couple, two or three of these things more, uh, I may pick a couple of people that uh, so are subscribed to my channel that have top and tilt kits to uh, send a couple of these out to and let them put them on their tilt unit and test it out and see uh you know what you think of it and you know get some feedback and and see how well it holds up to you know what you're doing with 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 your you know with your tractor you know so um anyway it's just you know just thoughts that are going through my mind or whatnot but i really enjoy uh you know uh creating and making 
and solving problems like this. Uh, this is something that I've always, you know, been something that I've always done. Uh, I've always enjoyed doing it. And so, you know, this was a, a fun project to do. And uh, it, it's, uh, it's been an adventure. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And um, I appreciate you guys watching. Have a great day. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.